Green Power Motors' recent blow in earnings resulted in an impressive surge in stock price. Get ready to discuss some chart magic. Let's talk about it. Thomas, thanks for joining us today. Green Power Motors posted blowout earnings recently. You wrote about it on MarketBeat. The stock took off. And while it's pulled back some, it's still up 35 to 40% as we're recording this right now. So I saw our editorial team talking about the chart. It caught my attention. What can you tell us about it? Well, Lacey, I think that Green Power Motor is the perfect pick for our first chart-centric video. This one is a great example of a foundational theory of technical analysis. And that is that the market is a great big ocean of people. It's a big mob. Uh, mobs are kind of dumb and they do funny things. They can follow the leader. They often repeat themselves. And the point that I want to make now is that it's important to understand what kind of movement it is that you're looking at. Now imagine the market is an ocean with tides, waves, and ripples. Uh, the tide is the primary trend. And the trend is your friend. You want to trade with the trend. So you want to know what the primary trend is to trade with that. Now, the waves are the secondary trends. Those are upswings and downswings within the primary trend. And since you want to trade with your friend, you want to wait for one of those waves to bring the price action back to the trend line. And then the ripple is the day-to-day -day action caused by news. That's mostly noise. But you can watch the ripples to see where the tops and bottoms in the waves are to time your entries and exits within a trend. Now, for Green Power Motors, their tide just changed. It's been a bearish tide for quite a while. You could see that tide reach its extreme point a couple of months ago, I think maybe. But since then, that tide has started to recede and we're starting to see the first bullish waves. All right, Thomas, I love the ocean. I love the beach going there this weekend, actually, but that's kind of a mouthful. I know you're not actually talking about the ocean. Um, so can you take a minute to just break that down for us? Maybe break up some of that jargon. Maybe not all of our viewers know about. Um, and if you'd show us on the chart, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words. Let's see it. All right, let's pull that chart up. Now, the first chart I'm going to pull up is the, the chart that came out right after the recent earnings report. And we'll look at a different chart a little, little later on. On this chart, you can see that the stock hit a peak way over here in early 2021. That was a massive bullish tide. The market, the entirety of the market was behind this move. It hit a peak. And since then, the market's just been selling off. So we've had a primary bearish trend. That trend brings the stock down here to this point right here. You see this big green candle. That's a nice, significant sign of buying. It's a signal that this trend has ended. But it's not really a signal that you can buy on because who knows where the stock is going to go from here. Over the course of the next few months, two quarters, the stock moves sideways. And you can see that it's got support at higher levels here and here than it did right there. So the, the bulls are starting to advance. And then right here, right before the Q2 release was released, the market starts moving again. You can see that the, the bullish traders, the bullish tide is ready to, to move. And then what happens right after the report was released is the stock price surges. It surges to a new high, indicating that a reversal is actually in play. All right. I think I got it, Thomas. But all this chart action is being driven by something, right? It has to be. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the news and or the fundamentals that are driving all of this? Right. So some of the fundamentals driving this action is the Q2 re the Q2 results. Um, uh, actually, it's Q1 results. They, they delayed their Q1 results, I think is what it was. But from the, from the winter time, the winter quarter, and that delay caused a lot of concern in the market, helped keep the price action down. But when the results were released, they were much better than expected. And that caused uh, the buyers to surge into the market. Now, what the story is, is that Green Power has got to deal with Workhorse Motors. And now Workhorse is building a class four van. They're using the, the chassis built by Green Power Motors. Workhorse is ramping their production, which means Green Power is going to ramp their production. Production means revenue, revenue means profits, and that's what drives a market higher. Now, if you want to take a second, we can look at the, the chart now today. Just a few days after the report was released, we've had a huge spike in volume. It drives the stock right up over the 150-day moving average and right above the top of this trading range. In my view, this is 
a very solid buy signal. But what a trader might want to do is wait for some consolidation, watch the waves, and look for a better entry point. Price action will probably correct, show some support, and provide an entry point for uh, for new trades. Well, it seems like the company is heading in a promising direction here, Thomas. It's going to be interesting to see how they can capitalize on these opportunities and continue their growth trajectory. Do you have anything else to add for this stock? Yeah, well, there's really two things to watch with this company. They've got two main business segments. That's their deal with the Workhorse Group and also making electric school buses. They've done a great business with that. So we want to watch Workhorse Group for them ramping their production. That should equal ramping production for green power. But also we want to keep an eye on the school bus news. There have been quite a few announcements of uh, the Beast school bus being purchased, and that is gaining momentum, and that will also help drive uh, momentum and revenue for this company. For sure. All right. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in to one of our first chart focus videos on this channel. If you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, if you have any chart questions for Thomas, leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when our next chart video is released. Thanks, Thomas. We'll see you soon.